Danny Pocaccia and the Arden. Well, everyone needs to be afraid. The 57th edition of the Amstel Gold Race getting itself off and underway under high cloud, but really a bright finale guaranteed. It's often been separated by a photo finish. How would today be after 33 climbs with a total altitude gain of 3,290 metres? This was going to be tough. Always is. It's a question of coping sometimes. Which team would control the day? Well, you don't have to look too far. Naturally enough, it was to be UAE Team Emirates. Well, a breakaway did decide to go for it. It was a strong one as well. Vacek from Trek. We had Heinzke of DSM, Van Hoff from Team of Flanders, Ludwigsson and Fideli from Q365, Orinstad from UNOX, and Versha from Total Energies. They were tagged with around 100 kilometres to go, but the pace had been maintained by UE Team Emirates in the chase. And of course, it was all teeing up for Teddy Bocaccia to make the separation. He duly imposed himself, and it was a very select group that went off up the road. 15 riders, including Teddy Bocaccia, Matteo Trentin, who'd done so much of the driving work to hold the original breakaway in abeyance, said that he'd had enough. Well, Teddy Bocaccia was busy beaming back to base, asking for a bike exchange, but the gap was so tenuous, he was having difficulty getting one. And then when we had one of the day's crashes, separating some of the bigger names, the gap just opened up a little bit and perhaps allowed Pugaccia a chance to get a car in and make the exchange he was looking for. Well, hovering around about half a minute for much of the day, occasionally it just ebbed back to around 20 or 18 seconds and then the breakaway pushed on yet again. It was so strong. Within that group, Ben Healy of EF Education Easy Post, Tom Pidcock was there as well with Magnus Sheffield. And when he got the exchange here, the breakaway was down to 10 riders. A real concentration of talent, I think you might say. Well, the organisers allowed the team car in. He'd been asking for this bike exchange for quite some time. And then the way he just powered over to that great group that included Lusenko, who just won in Sicily, of course, and plenty of other big names that normally would be in with a chance. But Bagaccia didn't want their company. With his new bike, a new trust instilled within him, away he went. Staying with him, Tom Pidcock. Chasing on, Lutsenko. And of course, Ben Healy. Runner-up in the Brabant Peel on great form from EF Education Easy Post. Lutsenko then joined by Kron as there was yet another separation and the pairing down went on always at the behest of Tali Bocaccia. Well, in Flanders, he just powered away on the most difficult climb and it was pretty much the same on this day. Healy dispatched this time as Pidcock wrestled his bike, trying to stay with Bogaccia, and then Pidcock himself faded as this man powered away. It was quite remarkable. Just over 28 kilometres to go and Bogaccia just preferred to be on his own. Healy powered back onto the wheel of Pidcock and then would try and engage the chase himself, but it was podium places up for grabs for everyone bar this man. Head down, going for it, and the last climbs were to be crested by him alone. Hot in pursuit, Pidcock looked handy. Playing a, a good game was Ben Healy, trying as best as he could to preserve what strength he had. And then in the end, penultimate climb, off he went. Pidcock, distance, Healy, charging into the gap, and in fact, it closed to around 18 seconds. Up the Coburg, the crowds implanted on the test that used to define the race, but this man's defining the season. After six hours in the saddle, two more climbs went to him, and of course the finish line and the title. Danny Bocaccia, on fire. Ben Healy, the best of the rest, no shame in that at all. Super result after runner-up in the Brabant Peel, now runner-up here. Pidcock just held on as Lutsenko had nothing left in the tank to challenge Kron at the line. And that's how it finished. Pogaccio with a 38-second margin in the end over Irishman Ben Healy and Tom Pidcock. Kron, Lutsenko, Baggioli, Van Hills. But this man, he came here and he just once again imposed himself like nobody else can. 
What does it hold for the rest of the Ardennes Classics? Well, be very afraid. Cheers to that, said Tadej Pogacar. A rider absolutely at the top of his game. And that must strike fear into just about everybody. Great race, great day and a great champion of the Amsterdam Gold Race.